guys, my name is Michelle and I'm an author and a creative writing instructor and this is my first YouTube video. I thought I'd start by answering the author to newbie questions in the tag even though nobody technically tagged me. So here we go. Question number one. How did you find out about AuthorTube? Short answer is Alexa Dunn, another wonderful author here on AuthorTube. She's the author of young adult science fiction and upcoming thriller novels. She's also a fantastic events uh, organizer. She organized LeviosaCon in Las Vegas in 2016, which is where we first met. I saw her again at DragonCon in Atlanta a couple years ago and LeviosaCon this past summer. And she spoke a lot about her YouTube channel and it was clear she was enjoying it so much and it was such a passion project for her. And it really inspired me and kind of stuck in my head like that's something I would really love to do. But it did take me a little while to kind of work up my courage and get organized and try to do it for myself. Question number two, what genres do you write in? I've written contemporary realistic fiction and kind of dark fairy tale, horror fantasy, paranormal, uh, animal friendship stories, mystery. I have a mystery series. Um, I haven't done science fiction and I think that's it. Question number three, what is your preferred tense, POV, and category? Category is easy. I write young adult and middle grade novels. For tense and point of view, honestly, at this point, I think I've written in all of them. I'm even working on a project right now that experiments with second person and I've written novels in first person, third person, past and present tense. I feel the same way about it as a writer as I do a reader. It really just depends on the story and what's best for that story. Question four, are you a plotter, pantser, or planter? Uh, I am a plotter to a fault. I ghostwrite as well as write my own original novels and I had to learn years ago how to write outlines and do them very quickly in order to meet deadlines. Question number five, are you published? Yes, I am traditionally published. Question number six, who's your publisher and your agent? I'm with Penguin Random House. I have a few series with Penguin Workshop, formerly Grasset and Dunlap. I also have a few middle grade standalone novels with Random House Children's, a co-authored young adult novel with Scholastic, a co-authored middle grade series that was with Disney Hyperion and was now with Little Brown Hachette. My forthcoming books include a few animal adventure stories, with Scholastic and a co-authored middle grade mystery series coming in May uh, from Razorbill Penguin. I'm agented by Sarah Davies at Greenhouse Literary, actually 10 years as of this month, which is really amazing. She is absolutely incredible and I highly recommend Greenhouse if you are thinking about querying. Question seven, what author to related videos can we expect to find on your YouTube channel? So as I mentioned earlier, I'm a creative writing instructor. Uh, for the last eight years, I've taught, I think over 500 workshops at this point, over a thousand students of all ages, uh, ranging from very young to adult. So I'm gonna be talking about the path to traditional publication, if that's the route that interests you. Um, things like querying a literary agent and being on submission and working with editors at various houses, things like that. I also do a lot of freelance ghost writing and I'm gonna talk about other streams of income as an author because very, very, very few of us uh, can live off of our books. I am definitely not one of those authors. So we'll be talking about other streams of income as an author. If you're interested in freelance ghostwriting as well as ghostwriting for publishing houses. I've done both of those. I'm going to talk a lot about that. I've worked with publishers on IP, that's intellectual property projects, and I've also auditioned for a lot of projects with various book packaging companies. Some of them I've gotten, some of them I haven't, but I know a lot about how the process works and I can help you put together a proposal if that's something you're interested in pursuing. But the main thing that I'm excited about is talking about the craft of writing. So every Wednesday I'm going to be posting a video Video in a series called Writing Workshop Wednesdays. And we'll be discussing different writing craft topics, character development, plot, world building, outlining, editing, revising, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna end each video with a quick five minute writing workshop activity that I would do in any of my in-person or online workshops. And it's something that you'll be able to do on your current project, whether it's just an idea that you're trying to shape into a novel, whether you're in the middle of drafting, whether you're revising, whatever stage you're at, I'm hoping that these little exercises will help you. And I would encourage you to post them in the comments below because I am going to be here to give you feedback and encourage everyone to give each other feedback. The energy of a writing workshop, if you've never been to one, is amazing. So if you do these writing exercises and you're feeling brave, I hope on Wednesdays that you'll post your responses down in the comment section 
section below and that you'll read everyone else's and get to know each other's projects and maybe we can give each other feedback and help each other out <coughs> on <coughs> what are you barking at <coughs> Thanks, Rosa. Question number eight, when did you start writing? I guess I started telling stories when I was old enough to hold a tape recorder and dictate random stories into it. I started writing with the goal of getting published when I was 27 years old. I finished my first novel, I think at age 29, and I got my literary agent when I was 30? 31, I'm not sure, no, 30. That's right. Question number nine, what was the first story you wrote? The first story I remember writing, I was in elementary school and I had this big blue notebook and I wrote a mystery story about a girl who had a horse and the horse was stolen. For some random reason, I set it in Chicago where I had never been at that point in my life. But I remember the girl's father in the opening scene was reading the Times Picayune because I grew up in New Orleans and apparently I thought that was like the newspaper everybody all over the country read. I don't know. Question number 10, which authors have inspired your writing the most? Two of my go-to favorite authors, like if they publish a book, I am getting it and reading it and I don't care what it's about are definitely Leanne Moriarty and Ruth Ware. They just write such interesting, funny, rich characters and craft such amazing mysteries with so many twists and turns and they're just so entertaining. My favorite young adult author or the one who inspires me most, I'm gonna have to go with Libba Bray. I just absolutely love the Diviner series. I haven't read the fourth book yet. It's like my reward for when I hit my next deadline, so no spoilers, please. I also read a lot of nonfiction and I really love memoirs. And my favorite and one that I recommend for every writer, no matter what you write, is Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. It's the story about the year of her life where she challenged herself to say yes to everything that scares her. And if you're a writer and you deal with anxiety at all, which I mean, who doesn't? Um, I cannot recommend this book enough. She is so funny and so inspiring and it is just absolutely a wonderful, wonderful book. Question 10, do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you have the time? I work from home full time, so I wake up early and I just get started right away, eat breakfast, sit down at my desk, and try to write like a couple thousand words by 10 a.m. When I say I get up and write early, I mean write whatever project I'm working on and I'm usually juggling several at once. The drafting, whatever I am drafting, that is what I work on first thing. Because for some reason, drafting is the thing that is like the most draining, the most emotionally demanding to me. So if I'm working on other projects that are in the outlining phase or that are in the revisions phase, I save those for the afternoon because I feel like I'm able to tackle it then. But drafting in the afternoon can happen. So I draft first thing in the morning. Question 12. Do you use a computer, laptop, typewriter? Oh my God, I wish I used a typewriter. That would be amazing. Uh, no, I type everything up on my MacBook. I have a MacBook Air and I love it. I use Scrivener. I swear by Scrivener. If you have any Scrivener related questions, please hit me up. I love to talk all things Scrivener. Question 13, what are you looking forward to most here on AuthorTube? I am most excited about hearing about your stories, honestly. I started this channel specifically for the writing workshop element. I can't say enough about what a great experience being a part of and leading writing workshops has been for me as a writer and as a teacher. And I just want to hear what you're writing about. I want to hear about your stories and support you. So that's it for me. Thanks very much, guys. I'm really excited to be here on AuthorTube. And I hope you'll tune in Wednesday for my very first writing workshop. Bye.